Madaguri, northern Nigeria. Here, the searing heat regularly reaches 50 degrees centigrade. It's a far cry from the usual mod cons of fans and fridges, and most people can only dream of reliable electricity. At times, we get maybe two hours of electricity a day, and we don't have electricity since yesterday. That's about 24 hours. Without a constant energy supply, the threat of preventable diseases is high, as the vaccines essential for immunization against tetanus, hepatitis B and polio must be kept at a constant temperature. But one man's vision to harness the sun's energy is already making a difference. With the amount of sunlight available in Nigeria, it seemed here was an excellent opportunity to do something. The National Program on Immunization covers quite a large number of preventable diseases such as polio, diphtheria, and the problem really is that vaccines have to be kept in a controlled temperature within the limits of two degrees centigrade, and the solar fridges play an important part of that at the end of the chain in remote areas. For the vaccines to be kept at the right temperature throughout their journey, electricity is needed for refrigeration. Power from the national grid is not reliable, so many have turned to generators, but these aren't fail-safe either. Occasionally, we have a problem with the generator. At times, even now, the generator is needing constant service. We are having problem in the supply of diesels, and it is very, very expensive. The vaccines travel thousands of miles by air to Abuja airport, truck to the state cold stores, and finally bike to the remote clinics where women and children come from miles. I'm here to protect my child against cystic diseases. So far, KXN Nigeria has installed 165 solar charging systems. How do they work? The sunlight shines on these solar panels and the panel converts the light intensity into electricity which passes through this array cable to the controller and charges these batteries here. So you can use this even when the sun's gone down overnight. Typically, we run the solar vaccine fridges from a DC current, 24 hours a day, non-stop. For the project to last, training locals is essential. Once trained, they should be able to construct the solar circuits and generate an income. Ultimately, Anthony hopes they'll pass their knowledge on to others. If we win at the Ashton Awards, we will use the finance as collateral to fund commercial loans to the people we train. But the most part of it will actually pay for a kit of tools and communication equipment with which they will go out and make a living. The impact of the training is already being felt. KXN has changed uh, my life. I went in to learn a lot within a very short period of time. I had to install this one at my house so that I can invite my customers to see it working. Right now, two customers who have subscribed for the system and have installed one already. It is installed today. The children love it and I've, it is changing my life for the better because I'll be able to read more. With panels lasting more than 30 years, Anthony believes the opportunities for solar power are unlimited. People always look for their own solutions. So we see the opportunity for uh, solar businesses such as producing ice, freezing drinks, pumping water. So people are very keen to have a situation which is clean and affordable. Most importantly, the solar fridges are helping save lives. I get to it this morning, around 9.15 in the morning. After born, then in the next day, I'm very happy. May God bless the tweets for me.